Okay, let's go over the Strider review. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Gameplay, boss battles, check. My history with Strider, check. Something else. Let's see. Hmm. How about voice acting? My facility! My creations! I will not stand for this any longer! Oh. What's up guys and welcome to another Lots of Games review. My name is Jimmy and today I'm going to be reviewing Strider. This is the most recent Strider that was released. It is available now for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One and PC. And before I get started, I just want to thank the folks at G2PO.com and Gamersgate.com for making this review possible. They're able to provide me with a copy of this game to review for you guys. And I am really excited, guys, to give you my review for Strider. And before I do, I just want to give you a little bit of background with my history with the series. So let's go ahead and get started. Growing up as a kid, I was a huge fan of the arcades, and one of my favorite games that I loved to play in the arcades was Strider. There was just really something captivating about that game. I loved the way that you'd be able to use the plasma sword uh, to be able to just make these lightning fast attacks, and I loved the also different elements such as being able to hang on to the ceiling and still attack your foes. So when I found out that Strider was coming to the Sega Genesis, I knew that I had to have it. And for one Christmas, I begged and pleaded with my parents to get Strider. In fact, it was the only thing that I had asked for Christmas. I had a Sega Genesis, didn't really have a whole lot of games. And I just remember the night before Christmas, uh, just not being able to sleep. I was just so excited on how I would be playing Strider the very next morning. Well, that morning arrived, and to my disappointment, I did not get Strider that Christmas morning. And, well, it was that very moment that I realized that my parents really didn't love me. Fortunately, a good friend of mine did have parents that loved him, and he got Strider for Christmas. Now, I had the chance to go to his home and play that game for hours. And I was just so impressed at how well that port was. And it really did stack up pretty well to the arcade original. So here we are decades later after the release for Strider on the Sega Genesis in the arcades. And Capcom put it into the hands of Double Helix to develop Strider, a new Strider game for a new generation of gamers. So how does this game stack up? When I first started playing the game, I really felt right at home with the way that Strider was able to leap over his foes and attach to various ledges and walls. And again, that plasma sword did not disappoint and worked so well with the game. The gameplay is just perfect for me and is buttery smooth. Once you learn the basics, I think you guys are going to be impressed with how fun this game is to get into. Uh, this time around, you'll be able to unlock upgrades for Strider's sword so that you'll be able to progress in the game and take down a variety of enemies that you wouldn't be able to unless you were to unlock these upgrades. Now I do have to say though, the first 30-60 minutes, I was really into it. I was really into the game. However, after an hour, hour and a half, things started to get a little bit stale for me. Uh, there I was, slicing up my foes, unlocking doors, then slicing up more foes, and unlocking more doors, again and again. Uh, Strider started to become just kind of a real drag. However, this lag, uh, fortunately, only lasted for a short period of time. Um, I was simply getting burned out uh, by being in the same facility. Once the locations changed drastically, the pacing started to change quite substantially for me. I really enjoyed the outside city locations uh, that I was able to check out. And to be honest, I really wish that there were more outside areas to explore in the game. A lot of people have compared the setup for Strider to games like Castlevania or Metroid, and I can definitely see the comparisons. I know that the game Shadow Complex was developed and inspired by games like Metroid and Castlevania. And to be honest, I was really, I really saw a lot of similarities between Strider and Shadow Complex. Uh, and as I mentioned, there are a lot of enemies uh, that you'll be able to take down with your plasma sword. During the course of Strider, you will also encounter various boss battles. I will have to say that some of these boss battles were a lot of fun to experience, okay? They're, they're epic, they're awesome. Uh, some of these bosses and enemies of Striders are also found in the original Strider game, which I really appreciated. My only problem with some of these boss battles 
is that some of these bosses were super, super cheap. It was outrageous. One of these bosses I found was just, at least in my knowledge, it was impossible to avoid a certain attack, which I just thought was outrageous. Uh, there definitely were some balancing issues I felt with these some of these boss battles in terms of difficulty. Some of these boss battles took me a while to get past, while on the other hand, the final boss of the game, I was able to defeat on my very first try. Uh, I don't know if I was lucky or what, but to avoid spoilers, I'm not going to really go into much detail, but let's just say that for the final boss, I did not die regardless at how many times this bot, this final boss came at me. Um, I really did appreciate it how Double Helix handled the development with this game. Uh, as I mentioned, there were enemy and boss encounters that were in the original Strider game, but uh, to take things a step further, there was also remastered music from the original Strider in, from the arcades. Uh, and I just loved the fact uh, that often in these intense battles, there was a, just a real nice field of view. In the original Strider game, your character was just so massive on the screen, with enemies, things got really crowded. Uh, with this new Strider game, there's a lot of things happening on the screen at the same time, uh, but since things are zoomed out, things never felt really too congested or overwhelming. Story-wise, the game really offers nothing that special. Uh, what makes Strider so worth memorable uh, is the experience you will gain by playing through the game. The various locations, the epic boss battles, the sweet power-ups, and the secret areas that you'll get to check out if you're willing to explore. That's the great thing. You'll get the chance to like, you know what, I want more power-ups. I want to be able to check things out on my own. You can do that. You can explore and just check things out. Um, pretty just nice, large areas that you can check out on your own at your own pacing. Uh, and really, guys, this truly is something special. It's certainly worth the $15 price tag. And right now you can pick it up. Uh, you can pick up Strider for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this review, definitely hit that thumbs up button. I'll talk to you guys later.